It is Friday, March 20th. Um, we're doing Small Bump by Ed Sheeran. Your chords are written right here on this paper, and you... <laughs> I think you already know the chords. We're going to start with an E minor 7, a G over B, a cheat C, a G, and then a D. Now, we're not playing all six strings on every single one of these chords. It's going to be finger-picked with the right hand. So, we're going to be taking advantage of that right hand snare slap. Um, but on that E minor, we hit it twice. We're going to start with one, three, four, and five. Slap it. And then pluck the second string and then hammer on for the E minor. So it sounds like this. I guess it doesn't really matter what which one you hit after the hammer on, but just hit another string. And then for that G over B, our root is the B. So, the whole thing together so far. And then we're going into that cheat C, but for the cheat C, we're also going to hammer on. So we'll pluck that third string, the D string. So we have pluck, pluck, and there's our G. So for each of these chords, we have to find the root with our thumb. And either two or three other fingers, you know, kind of just use your ears, like I can tell you exactly how I'm doing it, but it's some of it boils down to preference. So the whole thing, E minor, hammer on, G over B, G C, hammer on, and then G. On our D, we're going to do something different. We're only going to pluck three, four, and five. So the D string, the G string, and the B string, yeah. We're going to slide. Instead of playing our D, we'll probably use our middle finger or our ring finger right there and just pluck two of these strings. The three and the four. As soon as we pluck it though, we're going to slide from the second fret to the fourth fret. So we're sliding up, sliding back down, and then hammering off. So we're using a slide and a hammer off. And then we're going to pluck the D string hammer it on the second fret. The whole the whole little lick together is I'll do it a couple of times. One more time, I'll slow it down. So that's once again. Pluck them, slide it, slide it back down, hammer off, pluck, hammer on. The whole piece together. play your, your E minor 7 with like your sometimes you know how like you'll play it you can play the whole thing with your ring finger up on the third fret on the B string or you can take it off and, and play that Preference and you can maybe other switch. You can even switch like from chord to chord whether you want to have that ring finger on or not. Does this make any sense at all to you? Okay, you go ahead and stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 